G'day. One of the last videos I'm going to look at in this little bracket, in this little set, is this one. Now you can see it's obviously trigonometric. We have a power of cos theta. Uh, nothing above or below it to indicate that we might get a logarithm or that we've got a derivative of cos out the front. This potentially is a more complicated one. And the way we handle this this particular one, is to recognise that part of this uh, cos cubed theta we can convert and replace with something else. Now, what can we replace it with? It's a bit pointless, I think, replacing part of it with reciprocal functions like 1 over secant of, x of theta or secant squared theta. I don't think that's going to get us very far. You can experiment with that. Uh, so reciprocal functions won't work. Cos theta doesn't appear in too many equations, but cos squared theta does. And I think you'll remember seeing this. Cos squared theta plus sine squared theta equals 1. So since we're working in the field of trigonometry, remembering other identities, other things we've learned about trigonometry, can be helpful. This means that cos theta, cos squared theta, is equal to 1 minus sine squared theta. Just rearranging that equation. So let's see what we get here. Here we get cos theta times cos squared theta, d theta. I'm just breaking the cos cubed up into cos to the 1 theta times cos squared theta. And then I'm going to substitute not the cos theta but the cos squared theta. I'm going to replace with this. Bear in mind that when you do have powers this can always be something of value. And we'll encounter that later once we're integrating by parts and doing other things as well. We'll see these things crop up. But this one, multiplying this out, cos theta minus cos theta sine squared theta d theta. Now this particular integral is quite simple. It's one of your basic three trig integrals. This one is more complicated, but we have a power of sine theta. And notice the derivative of sine theta is cos theta. So here's one we have a power of a trig function with its exact derivative out the front. So we can perform this integral immediately. The integral of cos theta is minus, uh, sorry, is sine theta. I'm ahead of myself, just not thinking. Minus, the integral of this is going to be sine cubed theta on 3. We increase that power by 1 plus c. Now, if this one you should be sure of. If you're unsure of this, you could have replaced sine squared theta with u and done a substitution and uh, all would work out that way. But um, if you want to be sure, we can differentiate backwards. What's the derivative of sine cubed theta? Well, the 3 would come down the front, and these 3s would divide out. I don't like the word cancel much, but anyway, they would remove themselves. So we'd have a 1, that makes sense. We'd be left with a sine squared theta, and we'd multiply by the derivative of sine theta, which is cos theta. So this, in fact, the derivative of this is this, which means when we integrate that, we get that. So there it is. Surprisingly simple. It unlocked beautifully with this identity. So bear in mind when you see a power here higher than 2 that sometimes appealing to an identity can help break the, uh, the integral down into smaller parts. I hope that's been instructive and helpful. I hope you've enjoyed it and I thank you for watching.